Venom from poisonous species such as corn snails contains substances with unique biological properties which can be used both in basic science and in clinical applications. This could potentially hold the key to developing new medi medicines. Corn snail venom could create non-opioid painkillers, the ability to form relaxants for anesthesia, and lead to future diabetes treatments. New research aims to unlock painkilling secrets of deadly snail venom. The cone snail contains chemicals called carnotoxins, highly potent neurotoxic peptides, which it uses to catch their prey by blocking parts of their nervous system. However, the effects on humans can be different compared to cone snail's prey. The venom potentially forms the basis of future drugs capable of safely blocking pain receptors in the human body. Dr. Andrew James Jameson of the University of Glasgow School of Chemistry believes that conotoxins from cone snails have intriguing properties which can, which can develop medicine in the future. Experts in carnotoxins from the University of Glasgow and the University of Southampton are teaming up together to better understand how cone snails venom work on human muscle. If so, this will open the door to new drugs in the future that will have the ability to form new relaxants for anesthesia or painkillers which are just as effective as opioids but don't have the same associated potential for addiction. The potential of venom peptides from cone snails as a resource providing a continuous pipeline for the discovery of non-opioid pain therapeutics. Conus venom peptides known as conotoxins or Zikarnotide are carried in the family of con contide, which are cone snails. Zikarnotide was approved by the FDA in 2004 and introduced as painkillers that consist of non opioid mechanism, no respiratory depression, and lack of withdrawal phenomenon. Clinical trials administer. Zikonotide have demonstrated good efficiency in both chronic, chronic and cancer-related pain. Simonotocin is a peptide hormone that is produced by the water clyde of fish hunting cone snails. This venom is what kills cone snail prey, which is a suitable venom that leads for theoperic application including pain, cancer, and endocrine disorders. Venom from cone snails could also lead to future diabetes treatment. This is because cone snail venom, which includes hypoglycemic, hypoglycemic reaction, helps, which helps lower blood sugar. Clo Cone snail venom works better to receptors in the body than the human hormone and may work faster, which can make them a favorable option for stabilizing blood sugar, blood sugar level, and a potential for new therapeutics. Researchers at the University of New Hampshire have found that variants of this venom, known as the cone snail insulin, could offer the future possibilities for developing new fast-acting drugs to help di diabetics. In conclusion, in order to finalize a new method of creating new medicine from cone snail venom, there is a lot of research and trial and error that takes place before it can be used in the medical field. Medicine that was created from cone snail venom has been used to treat cancer. While it is expensive, it is also not their first choice of treatment. But 
Cones now venom can open doors for new medicines to treat diabetics, the ability to form relaxants for anesthesia, and to create non-opioid painkillers that ensure a decrease in addiction.